This is the first place on the Costa del Sol that we stayed at. It has a pebble beach. It's very nice. We stayed in the Concha... Costa... No. Costa Blanca. Costa Blanca. This is the beach right in front of our hotel. And that's the place that's all lit up that night. You can go up there, get a nice view. Boy, those rocks hurt to see a well. It's hard to turn it on when your finger's wet. Yeah. I'm just taking a walk around the beach area and around the walkway. Quiet and peaceful. Sardines cooking outside. Hotel Casablanca. This is where we stayed on the beach our first night. I can't remember the name of the town, Armando or something like that. This is our hotel, Hotel Casablanca. This is the other side from where we're staying. <laughs> this is from up where the castle is top of a hill. Close today, Monday, got to come back on Tuesday. the walkway along the beach into the old town where all the shopping is. Very windy today. Every other day has been very calm. The wind is good, y'all. Cool. This is the wall where they shoot arrows at people. It's overlooking the moat. I believe this castle was built around 1600. Be the same view then as now, except for those houses wouldn't be down there. This is where the cannon would be, around 1400. This is the beach area from the castle that's on the other side from where our beach is. That 
light colored building is a museum. goes down to the dungeon. This is very interesting as I was reading in the museum this place, this city, Amakar, was discovered 8th century BC and by the Phoenicians and then the Romans came and they were here for 8,800 years And then the Muslims came, and then they were taken over by the Christians. And then the castle finally was destroyed by the French in 1700. Then it was used as a cemetery, and now it's rebuilt. All of that for this little town here. This is the Roman baths. This is outside of the castle, way up here on the hill, and there's a warren of streets, and this is where the people live. They all have these little homes. I want one. Maybe it gets 100 miles to the gallon. buy our snacks every day. Whoa, what are some waves? Hey! Dive in! Dive, I'm taking a video! <laughs> There's the castle walls where I was up earlier. Whoops! We now are in Terrifica, and uh, it is right across from Morocco and Tej. Tej. <laughs> someplace in Africa. So we might go over there later. But it's pretty nice here, except the little flies are biting me. Go ahead. <laughs> tapas. That's what we're having. Cheese. Tapas. And this is... through this space about 20 yards to get to the interior. It's inside the pillbox. I 
nice waves coming in. Everybody does the kite surfing here and the wind surfing. I want this formation explained to me. Why is it this way with all these different layers and all leaning one way and all sticking up? I can't explain it. Aliens put it there, I think. This is a little town, Bologna. It's about 10 miles from Terrifica, where we are. And this is a Roman rune. And this is, just think, this has been here since before Christ. It's amazing. See, and they picked this spot right on the ocean. Little town, real tiny town. This is a place where everybody comes to do the kite surfing. There's a, looks to me about a couple hundred people here right now. Wind surfing, kite surfing, everything. See how many are up in the air. All these on the ground are waiting to go up. There's going to be a hundred of them up at the same time. This is the beach from our apartment in Bologna. It's the very same beach that attaches down there to where they do the windsurfing. It's about 10 miles long. It's nice because it's nice and windy. Cool. There's Mary walking the beach. I can't take a picture as they're coming toward me because she's bare-breasted. A lot of nudists here too. Another German pillbox. This is by Bologna. Quite interesting. She's going to see if there's any German skeletons in there. Down the beach, I was just talking to a German, and he didn't seem like a Nazi or anything. He just seemed like a regular guy. Here's a little uh, grocery store. It's big inside though. And we're buying our supplies. This is Bologna from the museum by the ruins. Cloudy today. The Roman ruins in the town of Bologna. This is the wall that enclosed the city. This is the monumental complex. This was founded 3,300 BC and occupied till 7 AD. This is the forum. This is where the judges and this government officials did their business. These are the thermal baths. They brought water from over seven miles away by aqueduct and they heated it. Right here, 
that is the amphitheater and it seated 6,000 people. Here's the amphitheater, close up. Seats 6,000 people. Built 3,000 years before Christ. Pretty amazing. Another view of the amphitheater. This is the main square, surrounded by shops and workplaces and forum, official offices. This is an aqueduct part of it that brought the water from seven miles away to the city. Here you see the same aqueduct. Can you imagine? We couldn't do that today. Bring that water seven miles on that little thing. This is something new. Cows on the beach. You just have to watch out. You don't step in a cow plop. This is the top of that other German pillbox that I saw down the beach. That's the roof of it, and there's a, I see a door going in. Another German pillbox. This is the third one. It looks in better condition than the others. We're going to check it out. This is the Pillars of Hercules. St. Michael's Cave. Here we are on Mon Tuesday, and we are the only ones on this 10 mile long beach. There's Mary right there. Fabulous place. We love this place. Here we are at the far end of the beach, and there's a big sand dune up there. Maybe we'll go to the top. Okay, this is a eel, probably a mori eel. What do you think? On the beach. It's a little bit dead. It looks mean. There's that sand dune. We're getting closer. Maybe the next picture will be from the top. We're down at the end of the beach now. Pretty here.
going up. This is looking back toward our place, which is about an hour's walk back. And we just were up to the top of the sand dunes, but I forgot to take pictures. Bigger waves right now. Here comes the big one. We are way up above Bologna now, taking a road up so we can have a good view. There's the uh, sand dune that we were walking up earlier. There's a town We're in a different viewing spot. Wild mountain goats. I think. Another view of the area from a little lower down. There's the sand dune and there's the town. 200 meters high, that sand dune. Go ahead. Sangria. Now taste it. Uh, mm, good. Good. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yummy. I don't know how to show up from here, but there's a hundred uh, kiters, or what do you call that, kite surfers over there. Pretty neat. This is what they call a white city. There's several of them around here built into the mountains to escape people who were trying to kill them. This is that first white city, I believe it's called Casars. Beautiful up here in the mountains. We'll be up here for three or four days. Now we are in the center of the city, main square of the city is called <laughs> something. Just walking through the streets of this town. We're walking up toward the castle that was built in the 13th century. We're up near the top of the village. There's a castle up here. More views of the wall and guard tower. We're inside a church over here. You're in my picture, you know. You're in my picture. Now I'm showing you all three towns. There's one in the front, one above it to the right, one above it to the left, and now I'm keeping going. And there is another town. See it there on the far left? Four towns right here. White villages. We saw this sign and don't know what it says, but I think it's prohibited to sell something door to door 
in the city. Here we are at the Hotel Salatier. First night on the road, the only hotel that we could find. You can wave. You can wave. Okay. This is right near our hotel, Pretty Flowers. This is a picture of a very ignorant and stupid person standing on the opposite side of that railing no, no, with about a thousand foot drop right in front of her. She thinks it's funny. She thinks it's funny, but it's not funny. Fantastic scenery along this way. Little villages all over the place, and I don't know why they're there. How do they earn a living? There you are. Let's see. There's a green one and a black one. Where's a black one? Well, he's almost black. Oh, see? yeah. Pick both of them. We'll eat them. No, we won't. You will. It's, I'm pick not em. eating it. I'll pick them. Get me a green one. No, you're getting the black one. I'll give Get you the green one. Get me a green one, please. There it is, right there. Pick it. We're in another city. I never can remember the names of it. But it's quite crowded here. I see somebody taking pictures over there. This is a monument about bullfighting. I guess there's a a place here where they do the fighting. This is where we're going to spend the night right there. It's called Eliviar. And it's a medium-sized white city. Here's our car. It was death defying to come up here and get that parking spot. We're way up high by the castle in Oliviar. We're up above Oliviar, and uh, there's a church here, and there's this castle, built in 1400. We're gonna go up there, I hope. I see somebody at the top, so it must be Here you can see how the castle is built right into the rock. There's another view of how it's built right into the mountain. This is the church built over the ruins of a Moorish temple. Olivia.
wave. Right there where those people are, that's where you come out. It goes around and around, little tiny steps. Right at the very, very top. That's the stairway that goes down. It's really hard. This is showing you right here that these are the ruins of what was here before and then they built that uh, fort over what was here before that was the moors were here and then when the christians took over they built uh, something right over it going up to have her picture taken it is now 10 minutes to 8 and we're waiting to eat because nobody eats here okay. until nine o'clock. They don't. They don't have a menu. They don't have anything the until the nine o'clock. We are in Sentinel, and here the people have are living in caves. Of course, before they were just plain caves, but now you see the houses are built right into the caves. Okay, there's the cave, and they built the front of the house, and they're still living in the cave. But driving through here, oh my God, you couldn't believe it. It's just squeeze the car through. Right interesting, but tough to get to. Now we're heading for the shopping. It's how you squeeze through, try not to kill too many people. I think you're allowed just one person a week to kill. And they don't slow down. I came through here about one mile an hour. They come through here about five or ten miles an hour. This is in one side of the little shops. You can see how it's built into a cave. There's the roof of the cave right there. The back wall is the cave. Most of these are shops, but a lot of the people live in the caves too. It's all by the hotel. Well, we have those Mexicans, they speak all Spanish there. Yeah. Yeah. 